thank you very much for inviting me along. I mean, I'm following two absolutely amazing speakers, which is quite humbling. Um, my name's Liz Bridgen. I'm from De Montfort University in the UK. Um, and when Philip asked me to talk at NEMO, originally he asked me to talk on Thursday at the academic conference, which I did. Um, and then he said, oh, can you also say that some of what your paper is about on Friday as well? So I said, yep, okay. And we played around with the title um, and came up with how social media can destroy promising PR careers. So apologies to any of you who were at the academic conference yesterday. You will have heard most of this before. So for that, I apologize. But for those of you who haven't, um, what I'm going to talk about is some research that I did um, actually a couple of years ago, which really looked at what's happening in public relations because you've got a couple of, well, you've got obviously social media is making great big change. We know about that. But also, um, and there's some empirical evidence for this, the number of men moving into public relations at a junior level is growing. And we all know that women outnumber men in junior positions in PR, but when it gets to senior positions, the women have just, they've gone. And interestingly, I'm working on another research project which is trying to map what happens to those women when they leave. And the really interesting thing is, they don't leave because they've gone and had babies. It's for lots of other reasons. Right, now, the evangelist bit. Um, public relations, so this is being performed via digital platforms. And what that means is that for a lot of women who've got, and men for that matter, um, who have multiple responsibilities, we can do our PR work in the evenings at a time that suits you. We can be very flexible and we can build up our own networks um, in, at a time that suits us. Also, if we want to hide our gender, our sexuality, our ethnicity, for whatever reasons, then we can. You know, there's a lot of writing that says, you know, the internet will equal, equalize everyone. And because we're all equal online, you know, PR is going to be fantastic. It's going to be very, very gender equal. Um, and we've all got opportunities to acquire lots and lots of knowledge as well. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if that's actually the case. Um, now, I carried out some research among kind of junior to mid-level PR practitioners. So for those of you who work in PR, sort of account executive to account manager or PR manager, press officer level... And what I did, I basically tried to find out what people did. Um, and the results were quite shocking to me. They shouldn't have been shocking, uh, but they were. Uh, because among men and women, what I found out is that if you list, it was about 17 different job roles that people could do, anything from blogger relations to administration to event management to strategic planning, lots of things like that. Women basically do everything. And the higher they go up the management to the, you know, towards management, they might do more of the big, responsible, strategic stuff, but they keep hold of all the admin roles. Um, and basically, men at junior or senior level do fewer tasks. They do a lot less. Um, and now, does that mean, um, among men and women, that women are doing more? and have less time to do other stuff like building their own profile on social media and blogging and tweeting? Um, or are men just spending more time doing the same things and also don't have time to do anything? But what I actually found out was that women are active on social media channels, very active indeed, but they spend their time on the whole. And these, you know, I'm not saying this is the case all the time. They spend their time watching rather than actually creating and interacting. Possibly because they don't have time, because they're doing everything else in the workplace. Uh, another bit of research I did separate to this, looked at tweeting and just profiled 20 major people in PR over the course of a week and looked at what they tweeted. Men tweet more than women. Um, I can't remember the exact figures, but my top tweeter was male and tweeted 700 times in one week. And I was doing, some of you who you know, have done social sciences, we know about content analysis. I had to do content analysis on his tweets, and I actually wanted to kill him at the end. 
because most of them were just about, you know, hanging out with other boys in bars, and it was just depressing. Um, so, men tweet more than women, possibly because they've got more time, because they're not doing everything. Now, what I'm not saying is that women don't do social media. They do. And women are very good at doing social media, just as men are as well. But within the workplace, something very, very strange is happening. Because the women kind of get what you might call the kind of boring social media jobs, like the running of a Twitter feed. And I, I know some of you might say, actually, it's great to run a Twitter feed. And I'm sure there are some which are really good fun to run. But if you're just answering inquiries and saying, I'm sorry your parcel hasn't arrived, I'm sorry your plane is late, you're, it's not giving you a chance to actually build your own personal networks, to interact, to acquire expert knowledge, all that sort of stuff. Um, so women are more likely than men to run organisational Twitter feeds. They're also more likely to do blogger relations, blogger liaison, which, you know, you could argue, well, that's actually great, they get to talk to bloggers. Most of the time, it's just depressingly mundane stuff, and unfortunately, these don't show up very well, but so much blogger relations is now just about organising giveaways with minor bloggers, sending them packs in the post, as Igalina was just talking about. So, overall, women are involved far more than men in mechanistic and boring social media roles in the workplace. And why do men bag all the creative and the sort of network building role? Not sure. Need more research on that. So essentially, I was talking about you know, social media destroying careers. Does social media destroy public relations careers? It can, because if the men are taking all the interesting roles and the women are being left with the really dull social media roles, essentially it's replicating what's happened in public relations over the last, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 years, that you've got a lot of women, really bright, really keen, really enthusiastic, ending up doing the very administration-led jobs where they're not actually getting a chance to develop those management-level skills. Um, and essentially, social media isn't a great leveller for them. It's actually destroying their career because of it. They can't actually progress. So thank you very much. And I think we've got the panel discussion. Thank you.